The tips factor. It's another storyline that I think many um, will be looking at in, in terms of this trade and their future or future success. And it's just, it, it's interesting because, you know, we, we had touched on that when Tibbs first got hired here. Mm-hmm. Towns has said that they've, you know, meshed everything and mended the fences. What, what do you think about their success going forward? Yeah, I mean, it'll be interesting, you know, like uh, I talked to him several years ago and he told me when he kind of like approached Tibbs and tried to like, you know, bury the hatchet and and just move on from it because they it did not end well. They mm-hmm. were not talking. Mm-hmm. Carl was extremely frustrated with how Tibbs handled the Jimmy Butler situation. Mm-hmm. Um, and it just it, it ended poorly. But a lot of times, CP, what happens with Tibbs players is in the moment while they're being coached by him, while they're in the foxhole together, they get frustrated with him. They get worn out by him. There's, you know, things that they don't get from a, you know, uh, encouragement kind of personal connection standpoint that leads them to get upset and, and kind of get turned off toward him by the end of whenever they're together. And then a lot of times you will hear players two, three, four years later kind of re-examine Tibbs as a coach and say, you know what? I didn't understand at the time, you know, how, you know, his coaching acumen, what he was trying to get out of me, how he was trying to do it. But I do now and I respect it a lot more and I look at it a lot differently. And I think that cat fits into that category. Um, I think so, you know, the the one thing though that is Cat is the exact same player that he was when Tibbs was fired, and Tibbs is the exact same coach. They are two mm. very they 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 know who they are. They stay with 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 who they are, and so I I you know these two people coming back together have not really changed in a material way. So we'll see if that kind of results in a kind of different just perspective, and they just figure out, hey, we want to win a championship. Let's figure this out. Mm-hmm. Or will it be after like two three months back together? It's like gosh, this guy's still wearing me out again, and I'm I'm not with it. So. Um, one thing that I think really serves the Knicks well in this whole thing is that they have Leon, they have Wes, they have even Gerson a little bit, what might factor into this, of people who understand the human element mm-hmm. of things and maybe can manage personalities a little bit better. Jalen Brunson is going to be a much better leader for Carl Anthony Towns in the locker room than Jimmy Butler ever was. So those things, I think, even if Tibbs has not become the kind of coach that says, Hey, Carl, come into my office. Let's, let's, let's get some steaks. Let's, let's just, you let's, let's have some wine and let's tell some good stories together. If that's not going to happen, they have other people around who can engage Carl on the more human side of the equation and and help here in Minnesota, Tibbs didn't have that. Like he had, it was you know all of Tibbs's people underneath him were lockstep Tibbs dudes and didn't dare do anything that could ever even be considered going differently than Tibbs. So um, it's a little bit more, I think, layered uh, there in New York now, and so maybe that will help this whole process and. But, you know, it's also, you know, I think Carl is at a point in his career where he really just wants to win. And so if he can take that attitude into this, um, I think that'll go a long way toward just making this a much better experience in the second time around than it was the first time. Yeah, and as you said, now the Knicks have an infrastructure of familiar faces who Towns has those relationships with. So you'd hope that that helps you know, ease any type of friction that they may come about. But I also think that, you know, the the rift between these two guys, because a lot of fans, when when the rumors were coming out, they're like, oh, it'll never happen. These guys don't like each other. But I also think, you know, from especially from a fan standpoint, we don't give enough grace for where people are and certain circumstances at a time in their life. Like, here you are with Carl Anthony Towns at the time with Tibbs. He's a younger player trying to figure himself out overcoming different obstacles in his life, whether it's on the court with Butler or off the court with, with his mom's situation, things of that nature. Tibbs having to be play, uh, president of basketball operations, coach at the same time, dealing with those pressures. You know, it just seems like it seems like a relationship that with time and experience and maturity should be able to, at least from a business standpoint, take care of itself. 
Yeah, I think so. And and remember too, like the team situations are far different too. When when Tibbs and T and Cat were together, even when Jimmy came into the mo into the fold, like it was a very unproven team that was trying to like really make a name for itself again and restore some level of of competence um, and and get back to the playoffs. They had not been in the playoffs for four, thirteen straight years when Tibbs, Jimmy, and Cat got there and, and ended that drought. Uh, but now, you know, with this Knicks team that has had some playoff success, and I know like their recent history, they've had like real struggles, but they're out of that now. They are very firmly in the contending for a championship mode. And that's a an entirely different kind of set of parameters that um, that that both of these guys are dealing with now. So now the stakes are higher, like and and I think both of them maybe understand that you can go win a championship here and and that that's very much on the table that was never on the table in minnesota and and so when you have those kinds of stakes you know you, i think it's easier for people whether it's coaches players whoever to set aside whatever uh they have that that might you know might have some friction and say look we we just have to make this work because there's too much to lose if we don't